Hey friends, good day. So here is my cargo trailer conversion, cargo adventure trailer. Got my e tracks up and got the crossbars, aluminum crossbars up for the bed. Then check this out. That is a linear track and there's going to be fine, uh, God, I forgot what it's called, linear rail with fine stainless steel or nylon coated uh, ball bearings that's gonna slide on that and that's gonna go vertical against the wall got four of them gonna have uh, linear actuators that's gonna move the bed up and down and when it gets to the proper height uh, i'll lock it in on the e-track as additional safety and not to put the load on the linear actuators I don't know if it would be a problem or not. I don't think so, but nevertheless, I'll do that. So here's what I did today. Here is my storage, uh, one of the storage compartments with all the wiring that's going to happen, the various uh, lighting and such. Got the switches already installed. I just need to make the connections. Got a lot of them. Uh, can never have more or less, whatever the phrase is, doggone it. So I got plenty. I just would need to run additional wires, whatever I want to uh, do. Uh, cigarette lighter, I guess that's what it is. I don't smoke. Uh, no one else will be smoking. Got USB charger ports there, 5 volt, which is high. Right there, got the DC voltage reader right there. So it's gonna be awesome stuff. So the, made some headway, I don't know if I posted it yet, but here's my kitchen countertop. That's looking sweet. And I tell you what, that's a lot of storage space because I got a lot of stuff off the floor and it really helps uh, moving around and not tripping over stuff so i'm happy with that that's gonna be a lot of storage space that's gonna be served as a bed as well if i have guests over they could be sleeping on that because i've made this super super stealth so it could hold me i could be up there dancing crouching of course whatever so this is gonna be the private room the commode to do stuff above uh, the commode to be determined what type I choose. It may be compost, but they're rather expensive. I'm going to have cabinetry, uh, cabinet up there. I need additional store space. Um, God, I see too many cabinets uh, when I look at YouTube people, you know, got to put door on everything. I, I don't want that closed thing like a house. It's going to be open storage. That's my thought right now it's just a matter of uh making sure whatever i put in there is not going to roll out going around turns or uh, stuff like that and i've got ideas on what to do with that all right so all right i know what wally knows because wally uh gave me a bunch of stuff small little box of uh end caps for uh, the e-tracks to make it a little more attractive got some e-track two by four if you want to build stuff put two by put the put this device on the e-track and uh, build it out of two by four uh, single e-tracks there's a lot of things you could do with e-tracks makes uh, building uh, so much easier well kind of uh but makes it super strong so guess what this is gonna be whoever guesses wally you don't guess uh whoever guesses correctly i uh, want to send the gift certificate so what exactly is this what am i gonna store there obviously something's got to go in there let me know i hope you like my cargo trailer conversion uh videos and you like what i've been doing so far um uh, i'm putting you know craftsmanship into it uh, what i can without going overboard because everything has uh 
time and price involved, right? I can spend all the time in the world to make this super, super perfect, but uh, you know, uh, I think it's coming out wonderful. The shower wall right there, the shower heads going up there, the shower handle, the mixer is gonna go right there. And I'll run probably a water line from underneath the kitchen counter where the water pump's gonna be to come through there. I'm not gonna run it outside underneath the trailer, potential for freezing if I travel up north and stay up there during the winter. Won't do it. So I'll run it along there using PEX uh, tubing and I'll probably build a box around it to make it look nice. And uh, the idea here is just that one wall for the plumbing and the rest is to put hang shower curtains uh, using eye bolts. So why I'm gonna do that, this is a lot of valuable space. So what I'm thinking of, of using the space when I'm not showering, I am gonna have a foldable table right here that fold down, use that as a breakfast counter, lunch counter, my office desk. That's what I'm gonna do. Or I could have something over there, you know, a lot of opportunities. But yeah, I do get worried about store space, which means I gotta get rid of more stuff that I own. So I don't have to chug along, take so much. Just the motorcycles, important. Most likely on that side is gonna be Indian Penny Chieftain and the BMW R12 the Kelly GSA on that side and Vespa Sophia would go right here somewhere somewhere right here I think that's it for me today I really got to get back to uh, work work cheers everybody please uh, give a thumbs up on this video and like my channel subscribe and uh, if you're building a cargo trailer conversion you have any questions what i'm doing let me know everything uh, i'm using on this is stainless steel screws stainless steel screws uh man i am putting some money into this baby and i'm gonna be building one thing that's gonna blow some people's uh mind and i hope this is gonna blow your mind this uh cool bed uh but what i'm gonna else build on to this this is gonna be Pretty cool stuff, man. Cheers. God bless.